Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back with a brand new video into my channel, Repack. So, guys, here today in this video, I'm gonna show you how can you fix out the hyperscape, all the error on your PC. So, guys, if you want to fix out low memory problem on your hyperscape, so guys, this is video for you. And if you want to fix it, so make sure to watch this complete video till the end, and I'm going to show you properly how can you fix it. So guys, before starting this video, if this is your first time here onto my channel Repex, so guys, make sure to subscribe it and also like this video and turn on the notification. Therefore, you never miss out any next video about the hyperscape from my this channel. So guys, with this in time, let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, the most important step we are going to update over all the drivers, over DirectX 11, over Visual C++ spec and also over GPU drivers. So guys, for this, you need to just simply watch this complete video. So first of all, I am also give you the link of all of the site or all of the file, which I am going to use into this video, into the descriptions of this video. So guys, first of all, go on to the Get Into PC website and just download the Visual C++ package for free download. So just scroll down onto this website and just click here onto the download button or download this complete setup next also go onto the site and click here onto the start download button and download the DirectX 11 version on your PC so guys I have already downloaded the boot file already on my PC so first of all we are going to install the visual C++ pack so just need to go onto the desktop and just drag out this file on your desktop also drag out the DirectX 11 on your PC of the desktop so guys just after closing out the chrome now first of all we are going to extract it on our desktop just click here on to the extract to the directx 11 so here is the password which is the 123 and just show this password and just click here on to the ok button and it will extract out all of this file on your desktop so open up this folder and run all of this visual c++ pack on your pc so here is the folder into folder just click here on to the install all of this file just right click here and run this as administrator writes and automatically install all of the visual pack on your PC automatically. So guys here all of the installation is complete now just close out this folder and now let's just go for the DirectX 11 just right click here and click here onto the run this as administrator and just install out the DirectX 11 on your PC because a lot of the GPU are not supported and not installed the DirectX 11 on the PC so therefore we are going to install it manually on our PC just it will ask you to download it just click here onto the next and just download the DirectX 11 and install it on your PC. It will take some time to downloading it and installing it. So I'm just going to skip out this step. So guys, just after installing the boot these files, now you need to optimize your game Hyperscape for the best performance and for running this game on your PC. So first of all, you need to simply locate out the location where you installed your Hyperscape. So I just installed it on my E new volume. So just open up this folder and here is the Hyperscape. Just go into the main directory of the hyperscape and find out the hyperscape.exe files. So here is the boot file. So just you need to go into the property of the hyperscape one by one. Click here and go into the property section. Click here on the compatibility and just run this file as the Windows 8 compatibility mode. And just also check mark here onto the disable full screen optimization. Click apply the setting and just click OK. Now go for the next file again. Click here on the properties compatibility. Run this as window 8. Click here onto the disable full screen optimization. Apply out the setting and just click OK. Now just after doing this step, now you need to just scroll up and here is the BattleEye folder. Just go into this folder and click here onto the uninstall the BattleEye from your PC. Simple right click here, run this as administrator and just uninstall the BattleEye from your PC. Now just click here onto the install BattleEye. Run as administrator and install out the battle eye on your PC. So just after doing this step, now you need to just close out this window. Next guys, here is the last and most important setting for your window to running this game on your PC. So first of all, just go into the window settings and go for the update and security and make sure to update your window onto the latest version. So guys, here is the window update. Just click here for the check for the update and make sure to update your window onto the latest version because it will automatically fix out a lot of bugs and the new update for the new generation games 
on your PC. So just I have already updated all of my Windows software and all of the files from here. So just after updating your window, just close out this window and just go back into the window setting again. Now from here you need to just simply go into the gaming sections and make sure to guys turn off the Xbox game bar from here. Go for the game mode and turn on the game mode. Just try out the hyperscape by just enabling out these options. If this is still giving you the same error, so just disable out these options from here and close out this window. Now guys, go for the AMD Radeon software or for the NVIDIA website for updating your driver onto the latest version because it is also help out you to fixing out all of the error for the new generation games or the new release game. You can also go onto the Google Chrome and download the software manually. If you have any type of problem regarding this video, so just you can also ask me in the comment sections. I also give you the AMD Radeon driver site link into the description. So just go onto the site and find out the graphics and the graphic card username and just download the correct driver for your PC. For the NVIDIA user, just click here onto the NVIDIA and just go into the main directory or the main website of the NVIDIA download driver. From here, just select out your product type, your product series, your product operating system and just click here onto the search button and download the best driver for your PC. So just guys, after doing the setting, I hope so, your all the problem for the hyperscape will automatically fix out by using this method. So guys, if you still have any problem, so just comment me into the comment box and also you can contact me on my Instagram. I will help out you there individually on your PC by using the discord call. So guys, let the next video, Allah Hafiz and bye bye.